Louis Vuitton quality issues paying for almost 3,000 New Zealand dollars worth like almost 3,000 worth bag welcome to the drama of my life good morning good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world my channel is called Sheila Sparkles and here I review stuff that I love, which is mainly luxury fashion and maybe later on some vlogs of my everyday life. If you guys are interested, please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it. And let's begin. So today we are going to finally, I'm finally reunited with my new and improved Nano Speedy. So I've had this bag for approximately five months but there's a lot of tea to be spilled or there's is that even a, a term like you know spilling some tea on my the story behind my nano speedies so i've been wanting this bag for so long actually like for how many months now so i pre-ordered it kind of like acutely so it was launched in like um australasia or like australia and new zealand in like late like january 29 or something the release or was it in america i can't remember but anyway it was like first shown online on like december of 2021 released on the beginning of 2022 and i had my heart broken so many times because the client services was like giving me false hope telling me like oh yeah like you know we'll reserve you a bag and then never really gave me the bag said that it was you know the waiting list was so long and they've closed the waiting list all of this like okay i can't be bothered it's like an emotional roller coaster for this pretty little thing so yeah so finally i was like mid of july i decided to give it a go again you know after having my heart broken so many times i like called client services and i was like hi there my name is sheila do you have the bag in stock or is there any chance that i could be put on a waiting list and the answer for the first time after you know trying for a few months almost every single month was like yes i can put you in the wait list and i spoke to this really nice girl over the phone and she was so accommodating and she said yeah i'll put you in the wait list but i was I wasn't keeping my hopes high because they've played with my emotions you know previously so when i was trying to get the bag earlier that year so yeah so she put me on i think i rang her end of july or beginning of august so i wasn't expecting anything now she rang me on the 13th of august 2022 telling me that are you ready to pay for it now i was like yes please send me the link and i'll pay as soon as possible send me the bag so yeah, so um yeah, so I got I got this on the 13th of August. So I ordered it. I think it was the beginning of August and then 13th of August I got the bag, but unfortunately it was the quality was bad. Okay, I'll show you a photo of what it looks like of but around the piping on the side of the bag the piping was like had a crack and it was very noticeable and for something quite expensive i just don't think i should be you know i know my self-worth <laughs> so i know like if the bag is worth this much i don't think i can just let it slip off because it would bother me and you know you cannot settle for less in life in terms of like in anything in life you cannot settle for less so that's my mantra so yeah, so I was like, oh no, I have to return it. So I returned it and then it took a while for me to get another um, Nano Speedy. So I got another Nano Speedy on the 25th of August. So she messaged me again and said, you know, do you want, do you want this? I said, yeah, of course, send it to me now. So it was overnight shipping or something. So on the 25th of August, I ordered it and then another this is the second nano speedy first last first of september i finally received the new the new you know like another piece with no quality issues hopefully i thought but wait okay so i received this and there was an 
it was fine like everything was perfect and i started using the bag and then just after two months i've noticed that the threads have loosened so the threads have loosened first on the you know the zipper pull here so the threads had loosened there i'll show you a photo somewhere here or maybe here so the threads had loosened and that was only after two months and i wasn't wearing this every day because i don't wear this to work i just wear it on you know my off days or when i'm running errands and yeah so i didn't really use it on a daily basis so for it to you know for the fraying of the threads and then loosening of the threads i was just like so shocked but that was november so remember i received the bag september 1st and i was so happy with it and then november this thing the zipper pulled the thread here just starting to loosen and fray so i was like so gutted i had to like message i was gonna message her but then i realized i was gonna go on a holiday like mid-november so i had no child i was going for like six weeks and i just i want to bring the bag with me because it is so cute i love it so much and i just I didn't yeah I was like oh no I'll just deal with it when I come back from the holiday fast forward January I messaged the um the client services again and then I think the lady who sold me this bag doesn't work for Louis Vuitton anymore because yeah she um she wasn't replying to my message so I had to contact client services emailed you know a few emails from them the repairs blah 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 and finally the resolution was for me to either ship my bag because there's no Louis Vuitton where I live so I had to either go travel somewhere with a Louis Vuitton and I was already going to celebrate my birthday in Queenstown so I have decided to just take the bag to the Queenstown branch or to the Queenstown boutique so yeah, I had like, and during that time, it was getting worse because aside from the fraying or like the loosening of the stitch there, this bit here where, you know, where that holds this leather tab that holds this piece securely was loose as well. Like this bit here, I'll show you a photo. So I was like, nah, I really need to. Otherwise, it's just gonna get worse and worse. And you don't expect that from you know from a luxury brand like louis vuitton is well known everywhere so yeah so i took it to the client services i mean to the to the actual shop and um yeah so i dropped it off there on february 16th and i only received the bag today so today is the 30th of march so it's been how many weeks like almost six weeks yeah, six weeks since, you know, five to six weeks since I, yeah, the bag wasn't with me. And I definitely miss the bag so much. So yeah, so let's go to the problem. Aside from the, aside from the fraying or the loosening of the stitches, also like this bit here. I know Louis Vuitton is like quite notorious with this because I have experienced it on, you know, my previous bags. But the metal bits where the zipper pull is attached to is actually you can see that there's a bit of like tarnishing but that's just wear and tear you know that i think that's fine that's just wear and tear and they don't you don't really see it like unless you look at the bag really closely so because i needed yeah so six weeks have my bags so let's go and help to the review of the bag finally. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so review of the bag. The bag is absolutely cute, you know. It's adorable. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 without the quality issues. It is a 10 out of 10. Now, believe me, guys, this bag is amazing. So aside from the construction, like, you can look up the measurements online. But I can tell you, this packs a punch, okay? Okay. So let's go on to the pros of the bag. So the pros is that definitely it is so cute. It sits well on the body. The straps are attachable and I know that the straps are adjustable and detachable. So that's, you know, get a bag that can do three ways. So, so this bag, you can do it as a top handle 
crook of the arm you know it's so nice and comfy i mean yeah it depends on how big your arms are but like i think it's so cute like that like i love doing it like holding it as a top handle and i love the cross body i'll show you some mod shots of me wearing it cross body but it is definitely the best ever cross body so for reference my height is 5'5 or 164 or 165 centimeter and this bag sits really yeah it sits well on my body i love it so much and it's just an all-rounder like it is so small that you can like take this so it can do like either you know like every day like going to the groceries to get something this is my bag because what do you need inside your bag let's be honest so if you have a bigger phone than me then it might be a problem but i have an iphone 13 not the max but just the normal iphone 13 and it fits really well but you just have to angle it like so but i mean it's not a big deal yeah and then you can have your card holder and then what do i have here this is what i actually bring i've got my lip gloss here my dior lip gloss and then my mirror my mirror is here and then um grocery list and then a small perfume so it definitely packs a punch i love it so much it is a wonderful bag and i highly highly recommend it but with the quality issues then if you're willing you know if you love louis vuitton um yeah go for it i would say so the client service that i've actually so once the repairs were done i actually had to call them again because yeah um, i was asking like oh when is my bag arriving because the lady at the store in queenstown told me it'll take like three weeks for the repair but it actually i had to follow up on them which is you know um i mean they might be busy or something but i've noticed like with the customer service in louis vuitton is either a hit or a miss so but the lady who was like you know like who contacted me because i i called client services and then the client service person told me that all oh, the queenstown staff will like call give you a call or message you in one to two days or within 48 hours so yeah and the person that actually i spoke to or i texted in queenstown was really lovely she was like now i want to buy a bag again from her because i just she was so nice you know and that's that's what you should be receiving from a luxury brand is that like quality um quality and like good customer like great customer service so i would say yeah it's a hit or miss but this time it was definitely a hit because she was so lovely she said i asked her oh can you make this like an overnight courier because i miss my bags badly and then she said oh yeah of course and then she sent me through like you know the code and everything like the tracking and um yeah she was so lovely to deal with so yeah um i would say would i after all i've been through would i repurchase the bag and the sad answer is yes because I absolutely love this bag. I absolutely love it. Um, will I be buying from Louis Vuitton again? Oh, I'm a bit scarred because of this. I don't think so. Like in the near, like this year. I don't think, I don't think, but you know, but never say never. But at this point, I'm happy with my Louis Vuitton pieces. And I don't think I will be adding any bags soon because again i've got like my wish list so if you want to check out my wish list um please you know check it out above i'll link it above but yeah i absolutely love this piece it's versatile it's cute it is so you know it's a small it's a small bag energy or tiny bag energy it is so cute it is just it is just amazing like you know like how the chaps are made to be bigger than the bag like i just i love it i think it's quite comical and then the zipper pull is actually bigger and like you know the the gold hardware is quite shiny 
And even on the rivets, it says there like Louis Vuitton. And yeah, mine is actually made in France with some quality issues. But yeah, and in the at the end of the day, you know, I still would repurchase the bag because I really love it. Like today, I actually used it when I went grocery shopping and I was like, I was so happy to have it. It sits really well in my frame. Um, yeah, I'm like crossbody girl or shoulder, you know, or shoulder or even like if you go to like weddings, you can also just detach the handles. And then it's just, it's a good bag. I love it. I love the size. I don't really carry a lot of things. So this is just perfect for me. And um, yeah, I am. Um, I love it so much. So yeah. <laughs> so leave your comments down below. What do you think of my like Louis Vuitton customer, you know, spilling the tea, Louis Vuitton like experience with the client services and like their repairs and stuff. I think it is still worth it in 2023. And definitely I would be getting the use out of this bag. And because it is treated vachera or vaquera, it is treated so even though it's like pouring rain it's fine like you just wipe it with a clean cloth and it goes back to normal i don't have yeah i don't have like it, it didn't darken it's usually like dark like this when i receive this so the piping is like perfect and everything so yeah i would definitely you know it's just a very easy easy like if it rains i'm not worried about it at all because again this is canvas scratch resistant you know everything is good um yeah it can fit all your essentials plus a little bit more and yeah that's about it and i hope you guys enjoy my channel and if you want to see more of my videos please like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you think of my experience do you have similar like louis vuitton experience bad you know the good the bad the ugly like you know just hit the comments down below and i would love to interact with you all and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram if you want more of my daily life with my two cats and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.